This is section 6.6, .6, day one, um, and we are going to be adding and subtracting functions. Now, uh, functions, you know, we, we talk about functions and we talked about domain and range a long, long time ago. Um, if you remember, functions, okay, a function is when exactly one x value is with one y value. Okay, and what we're going to simply be doing today is we are just going to be adding and subtracting these functions using these operations, adding addition here and subtraction. So we're going to be doing these two things. Okay, and now what you're going to see at first, uh, you'll see it in both notations. So f of x is just an equation. Okay, f of x, that's, how, that's what we call f of x. And then g of x is another expression. So these things are two expressions. And what we're going to do with these two expressions is we're going to add them and we're going to subtract them. All right. So in this first day, you could see both of these examples. You could see addition written like this, where you have f plus g of x. That's how you pronounce that. Or you could have f of x plus g of x. Okay. These both mean the same thing. They're just written a different way. Subtraction, you could have f minus g of x. That simply tells me I'm going to take whatever the function is for f, subtract it from the function of g. And then you could have f of x minus g of x. Okay. So essentially, guys, what this is coming down to here with addition and subtraction is a lot of combining like terms. All right. So how to add or subtract functions. So there's kind of a list of three steps here. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna even start off, we're not even gonna mess with the third step in identifying the domain. We're not even gonna mess with that. All we're gonna do is add and subtract these guys. So on this, what we're gonna do here is we are going to, when you add, to add functions, you simply combine all your like terms with addition. Okay, so you find the things that are the same, combine those together, and you're done. Subtraction, to subtract functions, you need to distribute the negative first, and then we combine our like terms. Okay, so with subtraction, you got to distribute the negative first, then combine like terms. Okay, so let's look at the first couple of examples here. It says, in the directions, perform the indicated operation. So in problem number one, we have g of x is x minus 2, and h of x is negative 4x minus 4. And we want to find g of x minus h of x. So I want to take g of x. I'm going to plug that in. <coughs> g of x is x minus 2. And then we're going to subtract h of x, which is negative 4x and minus 4. Okay, so now when I do this, the very beginning with subtraction, I've got to distribute the negative. So now this becomes x minus 2 plus 4x and plus 4. And now it's all about combining like terms. These guys are like terms. Positive 4x and 1x is 5x's. And then negative 2 and positive 4 is positive 2. And you are done. So when we combine those with subtraction, if we subtract the two functions, we end up with 5x plus 2. I can't do anything else with those guys. I can't combine them because they're not like terms. Okay, second example. I'm going to have you do two things here. I'm going to have you do g of t minus h of t, and we're going to go g of t plus h of t. So we're going to do both here. So g of t minus h of t. All right, so I find g of t in this problem is negative 2t plus 5. h of t is 2t minus 1. So I'm going to take this negative 2t plus 5, plug it in, negative 2t plus 5, and then we're going to subtract h of t. The h of t is going to be 2t minus 1. Again, because it's subtraction, I have to distribute. <coughs> so I get negative 2t plus 5 minus 2t and plus 1. 
So now it's about combining like terms. Negative 2t and negative 2t is negative 4t. And positive 5 and positive 1 is positive 6. And this is my final answer if I want to subtract them. Now, what happens if I want to add them? So I want to take g of t, and I want to add h of t. <clears throat> okay, again, g of t is negative 2t plus 5. And we're going to add that to h of t, which is 2t minus 1. Notice when I put addition, when I have an addition sign in the middle, I don't put parentheses, but when I have a subtraction sign, I do. Okay, so now it's all about combining like terms. There's no distributing to do. So these two guys, wait, negative 2t and positive 2t make 0. Those guys are gone. Positive 5 and negative 1 is positive 4. This is my simplified answer for adding the two functions. Okay, so we've got adding and subtracting functions here in function notation. You should be able to complete the first page here of your class kick examples.